So the secret of marriage and relationship is seen through Navamsha. This is what you are told. Oh my God. Partial truth. It is. There is one chart that is very important for marriage and relationship. I am not saying this. Sages are saying this. But the problem in today's astrology is that maybe if you are not my student, you don't know about it. D30, also known as Trimshamsha, is the real horoscope to see marriage. This D30 chart is available in any modern software so that you can know. You can know your D30 chart. Additionally, I have made a video on calculation of divisional charts that is available on my YouTube channel. I will drop a link to that video in the description section below. You can go through that video to know how to calculate your D30 chart, right? And it is based on this D30 chart that the predictions related to marriage and relationship is made in our classics. So I am telling you those results filtered with my experience regarding what happens in marriage. These results see, should be seen with respect to ascendant, general result of marriage, based on moon. <clears throat> Mentally, how do you feel in marriage? And based on Venus, what your spouse does to you, and based on seventh lord, what you do in marriage. The funda is very simple. I will give you an example horoscope that will make you understand. For an example, in this horoscope, you can see the ascendant is Virgo. This is the D30 chart and the ascendant is Pisces. Pisces belongs to Jupiter. Hence, this will be called as Mercury Rashi Jupiter D30. Moon is in Capricorn sign. In D30, it goes into Taurus. So it will be told Saturn sign, Venus D30. Seventh Lord is Jupiter, which is in own sign in Pisces. Go to D30 of Virgo. It will be called as Jupiter Rashi, Mercury D30. In the same manner, Venus, <clears throat> which is in Capricorn, goes to D30 of Scorpio. It will be told as Saturn Rashi and <clears throat> Mars D30. This terminology, I think, is very clear. Second point is, in this D30, there will be no planet in Cancer or Leo that you should understand. Now, coming to the prediction part. Which factors to see, how to see. It is very clear. Now, we are going in depth with respect to marriage. Now, remember one point. <clears throat> When you are using the right calculations, you have the accurate birth time, then the results told using D30 chart known as Trimshamsha never fails. This is the real result. Other results may fail, but it never fails. So starting with the first Rashi, if the planet is in Aries or Scorpio in Rashi, and goes to the D30 of Mars, then what happens? People have sexual relationships before marriage. They are very likely to go through paid pleasures into prostitution also. And in their marriage, they have bad behavior. If Venus is there, then spouse may do bad behavior to you, right? What to use is very clear. If the planet is in Aries or Scorpio Rashi and goes in the Navamsha, goes into the D30 of Capricorn or Aquarius, then after marriage, there is loss of prosperity. That means after marriage, no matter how from how affluent family the partner is coming from, both the native and the partner have to suffer. Have to suffer financial problems and have to take on to lowly works to save themselves. Aries and Scorpio Rashi, while the D30 is Pisces or Sagittarius, in that scenario, one gets chaste and pure spouse. The native himself is worthy and virtuous and is mentally very strong in the matter of relationships. They will not fall into the lure of others. 
एरिस एंड स्कॉर्पियो राशि डी थर्टी बींग जेमनाय और वर्गो द पर्सन इज फ्लटेशियस दे ट्राई टू टेम्प्ट अदर पीपल टू गेट देयर वर्क डन दे आर वेरी कनिंग इन द मैटर्स ऑफ रिलेशनशिप एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस दे आर डिप्राइव ऑफ सेक्शुअल प्लेजर बट दे आर डिसाइडफुल इन नेचर डी थर्टी ऑल्सो टॉक्स अबाउट जनरल नेचर ऑफ द पर्सन सो फ्रॉम द एसेंडेंट एंड मोन द नेचर ऑफ द पर्सन एंड फ्रॉम द डिसमेंट ऑफ वीनस एंड सेवेंथ लॉर्ड बिटवीन डी वन एंड डी थर्टी वॉट इज है इन मैरिज एरिस और स्कॉर्पियो राशि टॉरस और लिब्रा डी थर्टी नेटिव हैव बैड कैरेक्टर नेटिव हैव नो स्पेशल वर्च्यू इन मैरिज नेटिव हैव बैड हिस्ट्री इन रिलेशनशिप्स highly addicted to sexuality but at the same point of time have a weak body taurus or libra sign whereas the d30 is aries or scorpio bad character bad nature the person is quarrelsome and have diseases or the spouse is quarrelsome and have diseases depending on what is there taurus and libra in rashi capricorn or aquarius in d30 indicates multiple marriages and marrying either an elderly spouse or marrying someone who is already married taurus and libra rashi sagittarius or pisces d30 makes the native good and virtuous makes them chaste the parents are also of you know high have high morals and high standards they are blessed with children blessed with children means they have children they desire if they want one child they will have one child if they want two child they will have two childs and the children will also respect them obey them etc the native himself or the spouse is highly respected taurus and libra rashi gemini or virgo d30 the person is highly skilled in music dancing painting etc and is very intelligent taurus and libra rashi and taurus and libra d30 renowned for good qualities either you or your spouse fond of intellectual spouse fond of intellectual people favorite of husband or spouse the person is very famous and get supported by many seventh lord venus lagna lord moon in gemini or virgo sign while going into the 30 of aries or scorpio indicates willy and deceitful native or spouse but they sure shot have happiness of progeny but they are dishonest gemini and virgo rashi capricorn or aquarius d30 makes the native interested into same gender relationship or not being able to satisfy their partners in marriage also gives separation in marriage divorce in marriage generally give abortions loss of children and the spouse will have physical and mental defects also Gemini and Virgo Rashi, while D thirty is of Sagittarius or Pisces, the native is chaste, spouse is chaste, virtuous, and high level of devotion towards each other is there. Gemini and Virgo Rashi, Gemini and Virgo D thirty itself, the native or the spouse is well qualified, is chaste, famous, beautiful, and have all the good qualities. Gemini and Virgo in D one, Taurus or Libra in D thirty. person commits adultery because of lust the person is very lusty but looks very elegant by attire have a lot of ornaments and is wealthy also but is always complaining if it is cancer rashi in d1 while d30 is aries or scorpio person does not listen to anyone but do whatever they want and physically they are very powerful and have a strong body physique also live a disease free life cancer rashi capricorn or aquarius d30 indicates the killing of stuff indicates accidents etc such unfortunate results in the matters of marriage also betraying the partner and divorce etc is indicated cancer rashi pisces or sagittarius d30 person have many good qualities person is many virtuous but is unfortunate in the matters of children they have few children only and the longevity is also not good cancer rashi 
Gemini or Pisces D30, the person is great artist. Good marriage. Cancer Rashi, Libra or Taurus D30, the person is unchaste also, lustful. Leo Rashi, Aries or Scorpio D30, masculine nature is there. So good for male, bad for female. The person speaks a lot and the spouse is generally bad natured. Leo Rashi, Aquarius or Capricorn D30 makes you or the spouse unchaste and unhappy. Leo Rashi, Sagittarius or Pisces D30 gives Raja Yoga. A spouse coming from royal family, a spouse having good qualities. Leo Rashi, Gemini or Virgo D30 makes mascul gives masculine nature. So good for a female horoscope because spouse will be masculine, but bad for male horoscope because wife will be masculine. That means she will have a rough skin, coarse voice, uh, you know, like authoritative, etc. The native is vicious. Leo Rashi, Taurus or Libra D30 person corrupts themselves, goes into extramarital affair, having sex outside marriage, etc. to go into high class to advance their financial or social status. The native also suffers disease and is attached to people other than their own spouse. Seventh Lord, Venus, Lagna or Moon going into Sagittarius or Pisces Rashi while being into D30 of Aries or Scorpio. One have many good qualities. One is renowned and famous. If Lagna or Moon is there or if the Seventh Lord or Venus is there, then spouse have many good qualities. Spouse is renowned and spouse is famous. Sagittarius or Pisces Rashi, Capricorn or Aquarius D30 gives Limited performance in sexuality. So person cannot set completely satisfy their partner. Premature ejaculation, etc. should be told. For this particular reason, there is less sexual activity in their life and financial troubles are also there. Sagittarius and Pisces Rashi, whereas Sagittarius and Pisces in D30 also, one have many good qualities, great wealth, lot of jewelry and person is imperial, regal also. Sagittarius and Pisces Rashi, while Virgo or Gemini D30 makes the person knowledgeable, intelligent, virtuous, highly respected and skilled in arts, interested in arts. Sagittarius and Pisces Rashi, while the D30 is of Libra or Taurus, makes one unchaste. They have very bad speaking habits, but they are blessed with children, blessed with wealth and they are also devoted to their spouse in the starting. But later on, things go wrong and they become unchaste. If the Lagna, Moon, Seventh Lord, Venus goes into Capricorn or Aquarius Rashi while being in the D30 of Mars, then one have to suffer financial miseries on a, after marriage and to sustain themselves have to do lowly deeds. And because of this reason, they become they remain distressed and tensed also. Capricorn and Aquarius Rashi, while D30 is also of Capricorn and Aquarius, then person will join with, engage in sexual activity with people belonging from lower class, lower status. They are disliked by their spouse and because of this reason, they are also attracted to others. Capricorn and Aquarius Rashi, while Sagittarius and Pisces in D30 makes one very chaste. One strictly adheres to customs and remains under control of their spouse and keeps their spouse under control also mutual respect. Capricorn and Aquarius Rashi while Gemini or Virgo in D30 makes the native have bad conduct, cruel in nature but highly knowledgeable and unchaste as well. Capricorn and Aquarius Rashi while Libra or Taurus being D30 makes one unable to produce children, makes one barren, but at the same point of time, person is intelligent, but along with being intelligent, native is also great spendthrift. Based on this, the real result related to marriage should be told. Once again, Lagna indicates what you do, Moon indicates what you want to do, Seventh, seventh Lord indicates what you do in marriage, Venus indicates what your spouse does to you in marriage shortly. 
Now, if there is any bad combination, don't worry. With the proper matchmaking and marriage in a good muhurta, most of these issues can be taken care of. But you cannot solve a problem. You know, this pill of positivity only saying good things, this is very good into listening. But actual solving of problem in real human life does not happen this way. People before marriage, when they say something bad will happen, they are like, this cannot happen to me. But after marriage, when it actually happens, they come crying. So you understand things beforehand, do remedies beforehand, match horoscopes accordingly, choose the marriage muhurta accordingly, and then guaranteed marriage will be good. But the first thing that is needed is understanding. In this particular scenario, also remember there are four factors that you are considering. Anything that is indicated by two or more than two factors comes to pass for sure, that cannot be changed at all. On the other hand, things which are indicated by only one factor generally does not come to pass or even if it comes to pass, that is the result is not very prominent. The results come to pass in the dasha antra dasha of those planets who are negatively influencing the seventh house, seventh lord or Venus in the natal chart. And good results come to pass in the dasha antra dasha of those planets who are positively influencing seventh house, seventh lord or Venus in the natal chart. These results are found true in my experience. And as I have told you, this factor is the most important factor if you are considering marriage. Other than this, every factor is less in front of this particular factor, which is most accurate. This is proved by experience also, told by our sages 